Here we find ourselves tonight, now stepped and set astride two worlds. The past and present do collide in recognized patterns of reminiscence and related sentimentalities. Two blank canvases with history now painting future memories. This is a story from every corner of the earth, from every country and town, written in the lines of every frown that understands the reality of lockdown. For we are all transformed. Though I've now been informed in many different ways, having spent our days connected by our isolation. A physical transformation, new masks in the process of creation. And so we share as a means to repair the torn threads of connection in the fabric of our lives, two stories of performance in life circus, two journeys that concern us in the search for purpose. Two journeys separated by many variables that, however, show the turning of the tables on division and how to undergo separately when so many similarities reveal themselves through words that, though foreign in sound, may seem familiar like the smell of rain in your hometown. Where is it? What cruel fate has torn it now to make, now broke of both purse and emotional baggage. Now I wait. I'm sure I saw it. Like smoke rising ravaged from dying cinders. The taste and scent of it lingers. And yet it disappears like winter's cold beach sand. Slipping from my hand between my fingers. This emptiness has found me in the darkness, emptied. And now my best medicine, namely poetry, has and is now consistently failing me. Like those in the moment moonlight promises that drown and then evaporate in the sea of daylight's reality. Soon, I will die. And they will say, he dried up like the mist in a misty eye that's finishing reminiscing on what's missing from the days of come what may. The victim of some bad decisions. It seems he made at least one each and every day. And so... I want there to be something left. After my life is extinguished, after the last time my name is spoken with any kind of grateful, exhaled breath. I was so sure my flight would reveal my purpose as I fled the land of the mighty Yanzi. But after this fruitless search, the truth has bubbled to the surface. It was only a flight of fancy. And now in prison, this urgent need has arisen to uncover the position of my purpose and my mission. But alas, 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 alas I see the rocky bottom. The purpose of this search is almost forgotten. This prolonged isolation and detachment. At first, oh, so sweet. 
has and is now like the fruit on the dying vine turned rotten beneath my feet. My mind is slipping, losing grip and drifting in and out of view. Memories are fading and the sharpness is dipping and I'm losing all clue. Losing all clue. Sometimes in the performance of this live show, you gotta take a stand and say no, stop. Rewind. Go. I have never known division such as this. I have never seen division like this. I've never felt division like this, like... Like these fly-by-night insights that incite riots on the otherwise quiet streets of suburban minds. Illuminated by digitized, electrified signs of recently gentrified times that disavow an allowance to seek truth amongst the old growth vines. Global echo chambers employing a poison vocabulary riddled with generalized discourse destroyers born of a hashtag narrative reality. The antithesis of an environment conducive to self-analyses nor finding compatibility. This long warriors, long. warriors morph into inquisitors wielding cancellation munitions and weaponized sensitivity. This age of outrage keeps respectful, positive communication locked up in a cage. They want communication only for validation, resisting the temptation for any kind of education. Because they're months. going from woke to morally broke in single strokes, painting by numbers the circling vultures of cancel culture, the professionally offended trying to change history by smashing sculptures. These long, long months of Sundays, a year bleeding into one day, reflection of the sun rays, as connected edges begin to fray, because 